Hi, in this video, I will be covering one of the latest features within full stack disaster recovery. It's about OCI load balancer, which is now natively supported. I'm Antoon Mubarak and I'm part of the custom apps and consolidation specialist team. I will walk you through a demo using OC two OCI regions, Frankfurt as primary and Amsterdam as the standby region. The architecture is implemented in Frankfurt, consists of a load balancer that manages traffic to two OCI VMs. Each VM has a boot and block volumes. The block volumes, which are part of a volume groups, are seamlessly replicated to the standby region in Amsterdam. Moreover, a load balancer is already provisioned in Amsterdam without any configured backend server. Through full stack disaster recovery, we are going to relocate the VMs to Amsterdam, updating the load balancer uh, backend set to accommodate these uh, new VMs, and reversing volume group replication to the Frankfurt region, all orchestrated seamlessly by full stack DR. And to switch user traffic from Frankfurt to Amsterdam, we are going to run a DNS update using a custom script orchestrated also by full stack DR. Let's move now to the OCI console to see all those steps. First, let me show you the uh, load balancer in the Frankfurt region. So if I go to the details and I will click on the backend set, I can see that I have only one backend set and the backend servers are the two VMs here in, uh, in Frankfurt. And in the Amsterdam region, I have the load balancer already provisioned, but it's not in a healthy state, it's incomplete state. I have also a backend set, but there is no backend server inside this uh, load balancer. Let me finally show you the uh, load balancer, uh, well, my applications to uh, web servers running behind the load balancer and it's working fine. You can see that the load balancer is handling the traffic to the two VMs. So now let's move to the DR, uh, the full stack disaster recovery setup. I'm assuming in this video that you are already familiar with full stack disaster recovery. So I have already created the DR protection group in Frankfurt and the other one, the DR protection group also in the Amsterdam region, and they are already associated. In uh, Frankfurt, I have added the two moving compute instance as members with the uh, corresponding uh, block, uh, vo uh, sorry, volume group, uh, and those volume groups are replicated to Amsterdam. And in Amsterdam, I have no members for the moment. So I, what I want to show you is just how to add the load balancer as members. So in, I will start by Frankfurt region. I will click on add. From the resource type, I will choose load balancer. And I will ch choose the load balancer name. In Frankfurt, I have only one. And then I will ch check the load balancer, the destination load balancer in Amsterdam. So here I can have this one, I have only one load balancer in Amsterdam. The source backend set in Frankfurt, I have only one backend set. And the destination backend set in Amsterdam. I will not check this box because I am in a moving instance configuration. And I will click on Add. So the load balancer in Frankfurt is now part of the DR protection group member. Let's add the load balancer in Amsterdam now. So we'll go to the Amsterdam region in members, click on add. The same thing we'll do, load balancer, the load balancer name in Amsterdam, the destination load balancer in Frankfurt, the source backend set in Amsterdam and the destination backend set in Frankfurt. And I will click on add. So now it's added, it's active. Let's start creating the switch over plan. And as usual, and as you may know, the uh, plans are always created from the standby region. So we'll click on create. You can create plan, give it a name and select switch over plan and click on create. 
So the plan switchover plan is now created. And I have also added inside before the uh, custom scripts to update the DNS. But as you can see here, we have two built-in models related to uh, load balancers. So the first one is update source load balancer backend sets in Frankfurt. So this step will remove the uh, VMs from the backend set setup in Frankfurt. And once the VMs are moved from Frankfurt to Amsterdam, Full stack DR will update the load balancer backend set in Amsterdam to add those new VMs as backend set. And then we will update the DNS with a custom script running in one of the VMs. So basically, this is my uh, DR plan for uh, this demo. Let me start a pre check. And as usual, it's now in the queue and in one or two minutes, it will be completed. So let me pause the video as of now and we'll be back once it's Three checks are uh, completed after two minutes, 18 uh, seconds. Let's now move forward and run the switch over. So we'll go back to the switch over plan name and then we'll execute the switch over i will disable the pre-checks as we have already run it so and we'll execute and yeah as usual you can see that it will start by updating the load balancer backend set so it will removes the backend set the vms from the backend set and then move the vms to the other region update the backend set in amsterdam we will update also the dns and then we will do all the steps regarding the volume group replications in the other way and so I will pause the video as of now, and I will be back once it's done. So just a quick recap, uh, the backend set is completed successfully. So let me check here that, yeah, the application is now unavailable. There is no VMs serving this application. And let me check and show you that the load balancer here in Frankfurt it changed the status to incomplete and the backend set are now backend servers are not part anymore of the load balancer and the uh, rest of the plan will be uh, running so i will pause again the video will be back in a, some minutes so the plan execution is now uh, completed successfully all the steps are done let me first check if the service is back again. So oh, yes, it's back in Amsterdam and the load balancer is working well. Let's go to the load balancer in Amsterdam and check that, verify that everything is okay. So before it was incomplete, now this health is okay and we can verify that the backend set are now in, uh, in Amsterdam. So uh, that's it for this uh, demo. I hope you uh, enjoy it and it was helpful for you. Thank you for watching.